here with tips for Derby Entertaining is America's CEO, Chief Entertaining Officer, Tim Lair. Welcome back to the show. So happy to be back to the show. We Great love it. See you. I'll tell you, I'm our so favorite. I'll tell today. you what. Well, thank Beautiful. you. We're getting ready for Derby, so the bow ties are in. I didn't bring my hat. That's I usually okay. have a big hat, but it's hard to see and make cocktails with a big hat. So uh, <laughs> We must focus, Tim. We have right. to focus. I will. And the Kentucky Derby is something, even if you're not a huge fan of it, it's a great reason to just celebrate, have people over, and you're going to show us a few ways to make it seem legit. Exactly, Derek. And what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the official cocktails that they're actually serving at Churchill Downs that you can do at home, and it's very easy. First of all, we've got to start, start with the quintessential uh, mint julep, okay? So you've got the official glasses here, by the way. This is the 145th running that you were sipping from. Oh, how and nice. they have actually the name of all the winning horses on the cup, from the first one, which was Aristides, to the last one, which was Justify, our Triple Crown winner. Oh, all yes. On the same cup. But at home, just use a tall glass with ice. To that goes two ounces of Woodford Reserve, who's the official sponsor of the Kentucky Derby, so you can use the official bourbon that's oh, of there. Of course there's an official sponsor. And then you, you make a mint simple syrup. This is what makes that so good and so well balanced. It's simply uh, sugar, water, equal parts, bring it to a boil, and then put in the same amount of mint leaves, steep it like a tea for 20 minutes, and you have this beautiful huh. mint syrup. Sounds complicated, but super easy. No, super, super easy. easy. While you're still mixing, Tim, I have to say, typically when I have a mint julep, it's a little in the back. I don't know how else to describe it. It's, it's, it's what? Heat. It's like a lot of heat. It lot makes of, you it makes you hiss like a cat? Yeah, it's like a lot of burn. Oh dear. This well. doesn't have that. This is a very nice, smooth <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Alondo's <laughs> laughing at, at And work I'll tell now. you, one of, one of the keys is a big bouquet of mint because what you want is when you bring this up to you, uh, sip on. The aromatic, right? You get that mint that just wafts yeah. over. So uh, it hits you first and mm. then uh, you wash it's it down. Delicious. It's very the easy. The rest hits you. Oh, wow. Now, another so uh, signature drink at uh, Churchill Downs. They sell about 120,000 mint juleps during uh, Derby Week at Churchill. Wow. So, but a runner up is called the Oaks Lily. And here's the official glass of the Oaks Lily. Lily, and I actually created this uh, for Churchill Downs 13 years ago, and right now this cocktail is selling almost as many as the mint juleps. Oh, hold on. What? You created this cocktail? True tr true story. Absolutely. The Oaks Lily, we create. I don't get any commissions on it, but uh, we did create it, and it's really fun. I re and I'll show you how easy this one is to Damn, make. I'm so impressed. You're so modest. <laughs> how did you not know this before? The Ooh, drink's more famous nice. than I am, but i tell you what, I love it. Anyway, it starts out with about an ounce to an ounce and a half wow. of Finlandia vodka. Vodka, is which dangerous. is the official vodka of Churchill Downs. So again, I'm bringing all those official cocktails, official drinks, and then it starts with about three ounces of cranberry juice. That gives it that nice pink color. Uh, about an ounce of lemonade and a splash of orange liqueur. And that's garnished with three raspberries. At home, you can do this with uh, just a rocks glass. Here's the official glass that you get when you order it at the track. This the is Lily. so good. It, it's dangerous because it, it doesn't taste like there's any alcohol in this drink. <laughs> it goes down a little too easily. Hey, and by the way, if someone is not going to the Derby <laughs> this weekend, can they buy this glassware anywhere or no? Online. Online. Oh, they, you can buy it. Oh, yeah. So if you're going to oh. have a Derby party, if you have it overnighted, you can get uh, all these glasses. How cute. Love it. And then lastly, here's another one. It's called the uh, Woodford Spire. This debuted last year, and again, it's a very easy drink to make. And this is the glass that they use at, at the track. But at home, oh, cup. just use a rocks glass. Use an ounce and a half of that Woodford Reserve official uh, bourbon. To that, two ounces of lemonade, one ounce of cranberry juice. So it's similar to the Lily, but a little different because it's made with bourbon. A little lemon twist goes in, and here it is. And I think you'll find this light and delicious, too, as well. Very Cheers. nice. It's so good. And you know, these copper cups are beautiful. My hands always get very cold and sweaty when I hold them, though. They do. <laughs> I know. In the studio, typically at, you know, derby time or Houston time, it's hot out. So this is good. It keeps you... You know, a little nice, chilled, nice and cold. Yeah. a little cold, because yeah. especially now. So uh, anyway, here's an official food. They uh, they serve at Churchill Down. It's called the Hot Brown Sandwich, and this was developed in the 1920s at a hotel called the Brown Hotel oh. in Louisville, Kentucky. And basically, the chef wanted to create something for late night revelers, because it was the Roaring Twenties, so people stayed out late. And he wanted more than just uh, bacon and eggs, so he made this kind of an open-faced turkey sandwich, and I turned it into an appetizer. Simply oh, hot brown. 
brown sandwich. A little bread, a little more nay, which is a Gruyere cheese sauce, oh. uh, tomato, turkey, and of course bacon on the top. And it's easy for your guests to grab. And it's in one of the official foods you'll find at Churchill Downs on Millionaire's Row that you can have at home. Little it's snackable. Very good. But how do you make the Gruyere uh, oh, cheese oh, the, sauce? Oh, it's it, it's uh, basically it's flour, uh, a little bit of butter, and then the Gruyere cheese that kind of melted together. Melt it down on a, a yeah. saucepan. If you want to cheat it though, you can buy like uh, a little queso, a little uh, mm -hmm. sauce. Or Ooh, cheese I like sauce. the sound of that. So cheat that at home and you're going to be fine. That'll work. Very okay, good. what do you have Finally, on the list? I'll tell you what. There's this uh, famous candy in Kentucky called the liquid uh, or the bourbon ball candy, which is chocolate bourbon in a, in a pecan. I, mm -hmm. And someone said, I don't like bourbon, but I love these oh, candies. These what do you taste amazing. that? So what I did was I made a, a liquid version of that in a cocktail. Ooh. So I, in here I have my bourbon, I have chocolate liqueur, and then a little pecan liqueur. So when you taste that, I'm going to give you a cocktail. That's going to taste just like that shot. Is so good. Isn't that good? So wait till you try this. Delicious. Uh, I'll tell you what, Derek, that see, is so good. see if this tastes just like that candy. And Courtney, I'll get you one right over here for you. Mm. Mm. And see what you think. There's that. That nice is nice like and sweet. Mm -hmm. Nice and sweet. By the way, in case you weren't taking notes during this segment, you can always check out the food section of HoustonLife.tv and uh, find oh, recipes, yeah. connect with our guests like Tim. Thank you so much for stopping by. Absolutely. Cheers. This is delicious. Cheers. And happy derby. Happy, happy derby. derby. <laughs> Love the bow tie. Thank you.